What it do, family? It's your girl, Tootie Toot, and I am back. I am back. I am back with another video. Shout out to the squad. It's a tea drip set with it do. Whatever you dream, you can achieve. Dreaming really is probable. Drip set is in the building. You dig what I'm saying? Listen, you know the vibe. I need you to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please, please watch those ads. That's all you got to do to support the channel. And guess what? It's free as hell. You dig? Look, we about to go over here to Karina Von Shea. You dig? Her truth. You know what I mean? And we about to go and see. Because I'm nosy. I know y'all nosy. That's why we are here. So without further ado, we about to slide into this video. Let's like, get it. Okay, so first I want to start off by saying I'm going to address the flow situation. I'm going to tell what happened from the beginning to the end. And I'm not making this video to bash nobody or really do anything. I honestly was going to be quiet about the situation. But I just feel like I am being painted. Well, I'm not going to say I'm being paid in the wrong because I have, I admit to putting my hands on flow before. I'm not going to deny it. And I always show my true colors. Like, I've shown that I am, like, a defensive person. Or I am, like, I'm not even going to say aggressive because I can be, like, very dominant. But that's just how I am. And I am I would not take advantage of no man in that way, period, at all. Like, just because I am like that, I would never, like, you know, do too much on a nigga and expect him not to defend himself, which is why all of the altercations that we have gotten into, I, like, just sat back and I've forgived and I haven't made it, like, a big deal before because it wasn't a big deal to me. I'm thinking it's normal. Like, people just fight. Like, this happens in relationships. That's how I'm looking at it. That's why I didn't leave automatically. That's why I was saying earlier that Jada Young and shit was a start, too. Because they was combative in their relationship. And it's just a shame because a lot of women feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes women feel like if a man ain't fighting them, then it ain't real love. And you would be surprised how many women feel like this. You know what I mean? And it's crazy to me. But honestly, just speaking, since people want to speak on the relationship, I'll tell y'all about the relationship. The, the relationship was very toxic the whole time. And I've always said, like... Flo, if you feel like you can't be this person that, I'm not going to say be the person that I need you to be, but at least show me a little bit more love, a little bit more affection, and, you know, just actually be there for me after everything that I've been through, then you can just let me go, because I know that there's better out there. Like, I know that. So, I told him, and I explained this to him, the whole relationship. I'm like, Flo, you can just leave me alone. Like, if you feel like, if we both feel like we can't do this, then... Why are we still together? He Facts. kept saying, I want to work it out. I want to make stuff work. I want to, I'm going to change. I'm going to be better. We're going to do this better. We're going to do this better. But honestly, I would not even say that the relationship was toxic because I'm always betrayed to be this toxic person with bad intentions when the whole relationship, all we argued over was me asking him to treat me right or to treat me better or to spend more time with me or to stop going out to the club all the time or to... Just spend time with me and be what a boyfriend it should, should be. Like, that's all I was asking for this whole relationship, for real, for real. A lot of stuff escalated because Flo, he doesn't take that well. Like, when I say something about how I feel about something, he will more think of it as nagging or... And now, I, I, you know what? I don't know the whole situation, but I can definitely agree with that. Because I could tell from the way that a lot of people in the house, in, in FOE... When they was trying to come to this man and say some shit, you see how the first thing that he wanted to do was get luggage. And, and, and that's when you trying to ex you trying to run from accountability, my nigga. But it doesn't matter where you go, it's gonna follow you until you until you fix that. So I, I can honestly say that I could probably agree with her on that. Not like actually considering how I feel, just because he only wants it to be about him or he wants Facts. it to be the way that he wants it to be, which is fine. But it's like you could have been just let me go. Like you knew I loved you, you knew that I had a weak spot for you, so that's why you held on to me so long, because you you just know that you're not gonna experience love like the love that I showed you. And you won't. Like, mm. you'll never get the vibe or the love that I gave you because you took advantage of it the whole time. I've been nothing but good to Flo. I've, I have never tried to hurt Flo. I've always been there for him and tried to be the best person I could be for him. I was so nice to him. And all I ever felt was just, like, belittled, for real. Like, yes, I am aggressive, and I, I get, like, mad sometimes but i never got them like i never fought him to hurt him like or to kill the nigga like and 
like I said, there's been altercations where I haven't put my hands on him and he's put his hands on me. So what he's not going to do is sit here and try to make it seem like I'm the aggressor in the relationship. It, I can't say that a lot of times it was 50-50, but what I'm saying is this time it was not. This time, none of this had to even happen because I was trying to leave Flo. I was trying to leave him. I will start from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. What happened was I was at Funny Mike's birthday party. We was at Mike's birthday party that night, and we was all turning up having a good time. And my friend was like, do you want to go to the car? I got to get some out the car. I'm like, yeah, I'll go with you. I'll walk with you. So we walking outside and this boy walks up to me. I don't know who this man is, but he's just like, is you with so-and-so? And I was like, yeah, just joking. I don't even know who the person he said was. And then he punched me in my face. So I'm like, this nigga just punched me in my face. So I'm going, I'm trying to defend myself or whatever. And basically the security guard broke it up and Flo came outside and he's like, um, yeah, it's cool. Um, he's in a police car. I'm thinking Flo finna go check the nigga or see what's going on and why he hit me or go do something. He just talking something. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, he's in a police car. I'm like, Flo, you supposed to be my boyfriend. Like, why would you not defend me in no way possible? And then after that, I ended up getting into it with Mike because I was trying to figure out who the guy was. And me and Mike ended up low-key getting into it because he was defending the guy that punched me. And I'm like... So everybody's just okay with me getting punched in my face and nobody's gonna do anything about it. So Yeah, that's terrible. And and I, I mean and for no reason, Flo Mike, everybody should have checked that nigga. See if 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 Nick see this is where it boils down to women, we can force to make niggas take accountability as much as we want to, right? But sometimes it's your homies that got to check these niggas, bro. Because that's the only way you and a team is going to elevate, my nigga. If it's one bad seed in a motherfucking group, nine times out of ten, y'all all, all going to look like bad seeds. And I'm having a problem understanding why nobody checked this man for that. That is we That's not weird to y'all. That is Like, who walks up to somebody, say you with such and such, and then just feel comfortable to punch them? Like, I What? So at this point, I have to fend for myself. I already got in defense mode because it's like, damn, it's okay for niggas to hit on me at this point. So Flo goes back into the party and continues acting like nothing ever happened, still getting drunk, still dancing, like nothing ever happened for real. We ended up, I ended up leaving because the situation bothered me so bad that I just had to go. So I'm like, I'm leaving. And then when I leave, Flo's blowing my phone up, blowing my phone up. I'm like, Flo, I'm good off you. Where's the nigga? If anything, I just want it. I want the nigga. Like, where's he at? Who, where, he like, he's, he's here. Pull back up. He's here. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to pull back up. I get there. The man's not even there. And I waste my point. I waste my time. And that's when me and Mike got into it. When I had pulled back up trying to find the nigga again. But um, after that, that's when we had all pulled up to penthouse. And I'm just trying to get some food at this point. We that's the penthouse is a strip club. I'm just trying to get food at this point. So when I'm trying to get the food, Flo's calling my phone and he's like, Where you at? Come to the truck right now. I'm like, I just need to get my slides out the truck. That's all I want is my slides. I'm good. I'm done, Flo. You just let a nigga punch me in my face and I did not do anything about it. And I don't I don't feel like I deserve that. Like I just know if somebody was to do something to my boyfriend or a girl was to put his, her hands on my boyfriend, I would defend my boyfriend. Fact. Regardless of the situation, regardless of who it is, period. Because don't play with my nigga. That's just how I am. So for him not to defend me, that just showed me a lot about how he how he is with me. Like, do you really Ellen, I definitely have to agree with that too as well. You know what I'm saying? That's a situation where she's going to have to understand. You know what I mean? Every nigga is just not going to be, they're not going to have real man etiquette. And after he punched me in my face, I wouldn't have went to go hunt for them. But I can understand why she felt a certain type of way. Because nigga, why ain't nobody checking this man? Why? Why? It's too many grown ass men in the place not for, not for nobody to check him. Fuck with me for real, like... What's going on? Like, I'm confused at this point. So, after that, I'm telling him, I don't want to come with you, Flo. Like, I'm good. Like, I, I just, I'll come get my stuff, and I'm good off this relationship. Like, I'm good. So, after that, Flo start getting aggressive. Like, like, very aggressive. Like, I'm sitting in the car. I'm sitting in the car. He opens the car door and starts pulling my arm, bro. Like, trying to drag me out of the car. And I'm like, Flo, like, that, that hurt, bro. Like, he's pulling me really hard. So, 
the security guard was right there because Flo was riding in a black truck that night. He was riding in a black truck with the security guard. So he pulling my arm and the security guard like, all right, Flo, chill. Like, you're doing a lot, bro. Flo will not stop. He's steady going. He drags me out of the car, literally drags me to the black truck. My, I have a skirt on and everything under my skirt is showing in front of a lot of people. I don't know if they was paying attention or not, but I know I was, I seen other people out there and I knew my skirt was up. So we go into the truck. I'm like trying to push myself off of the seat because I did not want to get in the car. Flo punches me into the truck, punches me into the truck and makes me stand there. So at this point, and then the security guard was standing there the whole time and did not do nothing. Seeing Flo punch me in my face and did not do nothing. I'm like, damn, so that's what we doing now? Like, no, everybody just let me get hit on by niggas tonight. I see, like, what the fuck? So at this point, I'm just feeling helpless. Like, I, I don't even know what to do. So I'm in the car. They are fighting stuff. So I'm just sitting in the car. Next thing you know, he gets in the car and we leaving. I'm like, Flo, I don't want to go with you. Like, I don't want to go with you. Um, Can y'all let me out the car? I'm finna get an Uber. He's, um... Not trying to let me get the Uber. They're not stopping the car. Both of them was not stopping the car. I'm like, I want to get out the car now. Like, I want to get an Uber. I keep saying it. I want to get out the car now. I want to get out the car now. I want to get out the car. I cannot tell you. I'm literally in the car, like, really upset about what the fuck is going on. Like, I'm like, why are y'all not letting me out of the car? So, we on our way back. They saying that I hate Flo while we was in the car. I'm not going to lie. I did put my hands on Flo while we was in the car. Because I seen him call a girl's phone. So I'm like, okay. I punched him. One time. One time. And I did not punch him to whoop his ass. I did not punch him to, oh my God, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. No, I did not do that. It was a one punch. And it wasn't even that hard of a punch for him to even feel like he needed to re retaliate. Because he did not re re retaliate. He just sat there. And he was like... Basically, was just like, okay. Like, he took it. He trying to calm me down and shit. So, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And after that, I'm just like, bro, let me out the car. At this point, I'm done with you, bro. Like, I'm, I'm done. You weird. This is the second thing you done done at this point. Like, I'm really over this shit. Let me out the car. I'm not going back to this house with you. Whole time, I'm trying to leave. If Flo would have let me leave from the beginning, none of this shit would have happened, period. Like, if you would have just left me alone when I asked to be left alone, None of this shit would have happened. If somebody is holding you in a fucking car, like, at this point, what the fuck do you do at that point? And then I'm like, okay, I'm finna call the police. I call 911. Start dialing me. Get ready to press it. He snatched the phone out of my hand. After that, I'm like, well, give me my phone back. Give me my phone back. Give me my phone back. Kept my phone. Made me stay in the car. I'm damn near finna jump out the car on the highway. Like, I'm dead ass opening the car door. Like, let me out the car. Like, I'm that serious about letting me out the car. Because, first of all, I already knew what flow was on. Being that he dragged me. You're pulling my arm hard. Yeah, that's that behavior. He trying to wait till you get home, shawty. So he can box you. You dig? And, and, and you know what? And I'm not saying that. This is the thing about women, man. Sometimes... Because, I mean, first of all, accountability. Um, I appreciate her being honest, saying that she did put her hands on him. Because, listen, it's a two-way street. Women nor men shouldn't be doing that. And I found problems with that as well, too. You feel me? But the thing about it is his behavior was erratic. So what it's saying to me is that if she was giving you an out because she wanted to get the fuck on, then, bro, let her get the fuck on. That makes this situation non-existent. If she want to go, bro, and you already feeling like she toxic, let her go. You dig? That's where he went wrong at. Hard as fuck, then drag me and punch me into a truck because I said I didn't want to be with you no more. I'm I'm scared at this point. Like, I already know what type of time he on. I'm like, bro, I'm not going back to this house with you. I'm good. After that, he going to sit there and keep my phone. Still take me to the house. So as soon as we got to the house, I took off running. Like, I didn't even want to go near the house. I, or nothing. I ran like two blocks away and I'm just sitting outside just thinking, bro. Like, cause I'm just like, bro, I, I gotta go. Like, I need my phone. It's time for me. Me and Flo got to be done after this. Like, you know, if it's a bust about it, this nigga really did not defend me. Like, that shit really fucked with me. So I'm like, 
yeah shit really gotta be over with then it was just more and more shit that was adding up it's just like damn like ain't it's really no ain't no coming back from all of this shit that he was doing this night i'm like god damn like you just keep fucking up like keep fucking up so basically after that i'm like i when i went two blocks away i sat down on the, on the sidewalk for a little bit i'm just thinking and i'm like I, I gotta go somewhere i need to go to my friend house or something so i walked back to the house and when I walk back to the house, my goal, it ain't even really to get my shit all, well, actually it was to get my shit, because I went right in and I packed all my shit, and I'm like, give me my phone. I have took all my stuff, like, I'm, I'm ready to leave at this point. I'm like, I need my phone so I can call me an Uber, and he would not give me my phone. He would not give me my phone for hours and hours and hours, like, hours went by of us having the same conversation, me asking the same question, can you give my, can you give me my phone? He was standing in front of the door, not letting me leave out of the room or the house. He was barely, I'm trying to get, I was trying to ask for help. And the person was helping a little bit, like helping, saying like, Flo, give her her phone, bro. That gotta be Jay Long. Now we just heard this story early. If you missed that video, scroll right down below and you can check the whole Jay Long side of the story as well. But that that is the person who she's speaking of. You know what I'm saying? And this is the part that I really want to hear because when I heard Jay Long's account of things, I mean, I feel like he did everything he was supposed to do. But now I want to hear what the hell she's saying because she was saying that she messed with everybody in the house but him. And he seems to me to have been the only person that came to her aid at that time. You know what I mean? So listen. Let's take a look at this shit because I'm bothered by that. I'll give her her phone, bro. And we'll go back into the room and then me and Flo will be left together again for things to escalate again. And that's why I always, well, I'm not going to say that's why I always, when I know something is escalating or going to get worse, I always ask for help. I'm like, can you, can you get Flo? Like, can somebody get Flo? Can somebody get him? Because I know who I'm dealing with, bro. And I know how he gets, like. So I be trying to leave every time we get into it or something. My goal is to walk away. Like I'm quick to walk away because I'm not going to be sitting here doing all this. But the nigga be making me stay. And that's why I always end up being a bigger situation than it have to be. Because I hate, first of all, don't stand in front of no door while I'm in no room, bro. That bothers me. That upsets me because it's like, bro, I feel stuck and I hate feeling stuck. So, of course, I'm going to do anything I can to defend myself to get out of the fucking room. So basically, that's what I'm doing for hours. I'm trying to get Flo to, to give me my phone so I can leave and to get from up out of front of the door. So of course, I'm going to have to try to move him or push him or provoke him for him to give me my phone so he can see that I'm serious about what the fuck I'm saying. Like, I'm not playing with you. Give me my phone. So we, um, I can't remember if I pushed him or what, but I know I did not go and... The fact that she's young, uh, Mama Ellen, is the fact that why she would stay young, stay longer. See, when women like her, you know what I mean, they already been through situations and we already know what her and Jada Young went through. You know what I'm saying? It's an ongoing cycle. So she's already thinking that behavior like that, erratic behavior is fine. She's not grown enough. She ain't been through situations to where she had a good nigga to know that this shit is terrible. You feel me? So like grown ass women. People that's 50, 60 years old can't walk away. And they've been with people for mad long. So when you when you cut that 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 age gap in half, her brain don't know what the fuck going on. All she thinks is this is love. You dig what I'm saying? So it's so hard. And I know that sometimes we feel like that shit is easier said than done. Like, just leave that nigga. It's so easy for us to tell somebody just to leave that person. But when you have these emotional ties and these soul ties and shit, it makes it so complicated. And then when you're young. Her whole mindset was probably just trying to save this nigga. Yeah, he beat my ass, but I don't want nobody to look at him weird. So she's pretty much condoning his behavior, not knowing that she's doing that. And that's where we at with her. And it's so sad because, like, she was really thinking that fighting was a, way, was, was a part of love, and it's not. I punched on him. What I did, I think I pushed him, trying to get him, like, away from the door. And then that's when Flo, he... Start punching me. He punched me like two times. And that's when my mm. first lunch, my, my lip first busted. And my nose got hit too. Because I could tell it was swollen. So I'm pretty sure that's when he broke my nose. So after that, 
uh, me and Flo, I got back up and we just still, I'm still going after my phone. Can I get my phone, please, Flo? Can I get my phone, please, Flo? Can I get my phone, please, Flo? Like, I want to leave. Please, no, don't do it. Don't. Basically telling him he didn't want me to leave. So he was not trying to give me my phone, but it's like, I want to leave. So you have to respect that. I, I want to leave. So basically, after that, I'm getting more and more upset as the time go by, bro. It's literally like damn near 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm still begging this nigga for my phone, bro. I'm tired. I want to go where I want to go and go to sleep. Like, I don't feel like he doing this. So I get mad and I'm like, so if you don't give me my phone, I'm going to break the TV. If you don't give me my phone, I'm going to break the TV. If you don't give me my phone, I'm going to punch the TV. I said it multiple times to give him a warning to give me my phone. Would not give me my phone, so I punched the TV. I punched the TV. After that, the nigga flashed on me. Start punching me in my face multiple times, multiple times. Threw me on the ground, got me on the bed, still punching me in my face. Bitch, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you. I'm trying to grab his hair or something to get him up off of me. He like, you trying to pull my hair again, bitch? Punching me even harder, literally, like. And then you're going to sit here and say, we always be fighting. Flo, this situation is different than any other situation that we have been in. You literally beat the fuck out of me. Tried to kill me behind a TV. And then sitting here walking around like it wasn't that big of a deal. No, you held me in that room for hours while I was fighting for my life. And then after I looked at my face, after what he did to me, I didn't even expect my face to be fucked up that quick because ain't nobody ever did me that. I'm looking at my face like, look at my face. All I could do was cry. Like, I'm like. You know it was bad if if, if once the time, you know what I'm saying, is once um, when Jay Long got in the refrigerator, I mean not the refrigerator, got in the kitchen and he seen her face in real time. Like, you know that it had to be bad if that nigga turned around and was like, nigga, what is your problem? Like, you know it had to be bad. You feel me? Like, so now that we getting everybody's, you know what I'm saying, account of the situation, what she's saying is adding up. You dig what I mean? Everything she has said so far has been true. She felt like she got jumped, my nigga. And at first, I'm not even going to lie to you. I did not believe that she had got jumped because I could not fathom. I'm like, nigga, fucking roll it up. K wouldn't do no shit like that, my nigga. Like, that ass serious. She just have a girl fighter. You feel me? And then when I seen roll it up K live, I really believe roll it up K until that footage dropped. Then I'm like, damn, and it made it her even more credible. Now, I'm not saying that she was not wrong for putting her hands on him because she was. You feel me? And ladies, let me tell you something. I don't care how mad you get. I don't care how many niggas, how many women these niggas and slept with. You also got to keep in mind, bro, we are just not physically inept to be able to fight these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So instead of putting your hands on these niggas, leave. As you can see, leaving hurts the most anyway. That's why the nigga got phones and got her all kidnapped and shit. You feel me? But yeah, this is crazy. Like, hey, bro, this nigga really just did this to me? Like... I'm this like, shit crazy. My face. Once he looked at my face, he like, get in the closet, get in the closet. Put, throws me in the closet, bro. Locks me in there and is holding the door. Bitch, get out the closet if you want to. I'm going to beat your ass again. Bitch, get out the closet if I want to. I'm going to beat your ass again. Over and over again. Keep saying it. I'm just crying like, Flo, please let me out the closet. Like, please let me out the closet. And he finally opens the door and I'm sitting on the floor. I'm just really trying to find a way to get up out of there. That's my goal, to find a way to get out. So yeah. I'm talking to him, and I'm like, Flo, I got to use the bathroom. He like, well, um, you can go to the bathroom. I'll let you go to the bathroom, but you need to, um, but I'm going to watch you. I'm going to sit right there. I'm Nigga, what? That is psychotic behavior. <laughs> she couldn't pee in peace. Nigga, that shows you right there who was wrong that night. Period. You're trying to shelter her from leaving because you don't want niggas to see her face and shit, bro. That's what this is about. Yo, that is cornier than a motherfucker, bro. I'm like, why you gotta watch me go to the bathroom? That's how I knew he knew he just did the most. Because why why you treat me like you really, like, hold me hostage now? Like, this the shit that happened in the movies. I'm like... That shit was just a very scary experience to see. Especially... Being that this is a man that I've been with for a very long time. And to see somebody do you like that, it's just like, damn, like, 
you never really cared about me for real. Like I've gotten altercations with someone in my relationship before, like relationships before, and it has never, ever, ever been to the point that a nigga punched me in my face over and over again, saw I was down and could not help myself and kept going. Like this was different than any other situation. And that's, I'm not playing victim at all. Like I'm not trying to be the victim in the situation. I hate that I even have to get on here and do all of this, but what you're not going to do is make me seem like this, this time was, no, this time was different Flo, and You know that, like, you know what happened. So for you to even sit on here and do all that is crazy to me. Like insane actually. And then I told him I had to go to the bathroom. We standing in front of the bathroom talking about it. And then after that, I run towards the stairs of the house. I run towards the stairs and I'm pulling on the rails because he starts dragging me back to the room, trying to stop me from going to ask for help from a person that was downstairs. Jay Long. So I'm running towards the stairs, trying to scream as loud as I can at that point to get him to come out of his room and help me. So at this point, Flo punched me in the head more because he's mad that I'm screaming for help, covering my mouth so I cannot scream. I'm literally just crying even more. Cause at this point, like, God damn, like what the fuck? This nigga really just whooping my ass. Cause he didn't want Jay Long to hear him because this was an ongoing situation. Niggas done heard them fight over and over again. So he trying to shut her up. And then you got some people in mind that he know what her face looked like. So now if she go wake up Jay Long, he gonna really see the real. You feel what I'm saying? Like this is a very sad fucking situation. This is sad as hell, bro. It's like he don't give a fuck about me. So after that, I'm like, Jay, well, the person comes out the room and he's like, I'm like, the first thing I said to him was like, look at my face, bro. Like, look what he just did to me. And he like, Flo, that's not okay, bro. Like, that's not okay. And Flo basically trying to justify the situation once again. And he was telling him that that is not okay. Like, look at my face. My face was very fucked up. Like, my face, you could tell I had got hit in my face over and over and over and over and over again. Like, just by all of the bruises, all the marks. And honestly, it wasn't nothing but punches. Like, literally, nothing but heavy ass punches. Like, with all. Good point, ICD. Good point. For real. All of his might. So I'm like, I'm dead ass thinking I'm finna black out or something. But I just so happen not to. But after that, um, that's when I got my phone and I was able to leave. Me and Flo, at first I was still communicating with him after that because. When it first happened, I honestly didn't process everything that had went down. Like, I didn't realize how serious it was what he did to me. I didn't, I was barely even looking at my face for real. Like, when I go through something, a better way for me to process it is to act like it didn't happen. Or to, like, just, I don't know, just act like it didn't happen. That's how I deal with a lot of stuff that I go through. I just, like, brush it off and try to act like it never happened literally like so i'm still talking to flow and shit and i'm looking at my face more and more and i'm just like damn like my face is really fucked up like really fucked up and then we still getting steady getting into it after this like the nigga took my stuff he was throwing it all outside like just being extra as fuck right after he just did all of this to me i'm like Okay, yeah, you obviously really just don't give a fuck. Like, you don't even have no remorse for anything that you just did to me. Like, you you don't care what you just did to me. It don't even bother you at all how many times you just punched me in my face. Like, and then after he just kept complaining about his hand, he's like, ah, oh, my hand, look at it. Yeah, we seen his hand. Drop it down. I mean, you go to the video because that's the only that's the only scar I, I found on, on, on Flo. And Lord knows, I pulled up many, many, many fucking pictures. And you can definitely see on his knuckles, he had two motherfucking sores on his knuckles that looked like just had got healed. You feel me? That's the only thing that I had seen. Now, it's not saying that she did not hit him. I know she hit him. She admitted it. You know what I mean? But she did not hit him to the capacity to where he hit her. Shit, you ain't finna goddamn tell me that. Look, I'm like, look at my face. You telling me to look at your hand? What you yeah. want to do? Like, no your body? That's that victim look at shit. My face. my face is fucked up. And that's how you fucked your hand up. And telling me to look at it. Like, he want me to feel sorry for him or something. I'm like, I just kept seeing more and more, like, yeah, this nigga really don't give a fuck about me. Like, it's time for me to move around. So after that, I'm like, yeah, 
it's cool. Like, I'm good off you. And he basically moving weird, too. So, I'm like, yeah, so, obviously, you, you feel some type, you feel bad. Either feel bad about what you did to me, or you just don't give a fuck at all. So, I'm like, yeah, you're not taking this serious at all. Like, you really don't give a fuck about the situation at all. So, it just made me more and more upset, like, about how he did not give a fuck or did not show any remorse for real, for real. Like, and then when he was doing it, he would, like, apologize and then start doing it again. Like, the first time I think he put his hands on me and he would have... 89. <laughs> I busted my lip in my nose. I'm so sorry, but you on one today. I need you to get the hell out of these comments, man. So she apologized for that. And then when I punch the TV, you turn around and you punch on me again. Like, you're not sorry for nothing that you're doing. You steady doing it. And then you saying, I'm fighting you. You defending yourself. How you defending yourself from somebody that's down on the ground? And then I'm a girl at that. Like, and I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. You're supposed to love me. So for you to get on me, get on here and punch on me like that is insane to me. Like, it's crazy. And then to get on here and make it seem like I'm always the aggressor when I only had good intentions this whole relationship is crazy. Like, crazy. Don't make it seem like I, I just be mad and I just be doing stuff. No, you provoke me into doing a lot of things that I've done. And then also the pregnancy situation. What happened with that was... Flo knew what the fuck he was doing when he did it. Literally knew what the fuck he was doing when he did it. And when it actually happened, the nigga started acting weird to me. Like, being weird as fuck. Like, telling me, honestly, that he didn't want to have a kid right now. He's not ready to have a kid right now. And I respect that, yeah. But I'm like, Flo, if you knew what you was doing, why did you do it? Like, you did it like you wanted to have a kid. I'm going to tell you what happened. So that made me... Niggas always be feeling like it's okay to have a kid when they up in that thing. I'm just going to give y'all the real. Y'all not going to fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get in that thing. They think being a family man is okay until they get out that thing. But see, my thing is this. Man, if you don't want to have kids, then just hold your sperm. You feel me? You did what I'm saying? And the pull-out method ain't going to work all the time. You know what I'm saying? But don't get mad at a female when she gets pregnant when you knew you was raw dogging. That, that's beyond me. You know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of times they blame a woman. Well, you know this man didn't want to have kids. If he didn't want to have kids, then why he didn't wear a rubber? It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's a responsibility on both parties. Yes, she just is wrong. Because, y'all I mean, I'm pretty sure you done had talks with this nigga before, you know what I'm saying, to let him know. Let, he let you know he didn't want to have kids. So the first thing you should be saying to this nigga is, hold up. Hold up. You need to go get that. You don't want no kids, nigga. Don't be putting me in a fucked up position. You got to set the standard. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you get this. Niggas, we love to be in that thing raw until it's time to have a baby. And then it's like, I don't want no kid. And then you get mad when a woman goes against the grain of what you feeling. Because it's a fetus, my nigga. You know what I mean? Niggas think that it's just okay for women to take babies to the chop shop. That shit ain't cool. I'm upset. And then it's like, you know what I experienced with my last pregnancy. Like... I lost my baby. I wanted my child. So for you, to, like the first child I had Facts. after that, for me to abort my baby, that hurt my feelings. Because it's like, I wanted my child. And I could not have my child. So I feel like my next pregnancy was a blessing. Like, thank you, Lord. Like, So I'm like debating on if I want to or not. But as I start seeing how Flo was acting more and more, how he did me while I was, I'm just like, yeah. You not supposed to be my baby father. Like, I don't even want to kill with you at this point. Because look mm. at how you, how you act. Like, I wouldn't even want to be tied to you like that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get the abortion. At this point, I had my mind made up by seeing how he did me the whole time. I was sick. He was going out every night. I asked Flo to take me to the hospital because I was throwing up a lot. Did not take me to the hospital. He would go out instead of taking me to the hospital. Like, really saying fuck me in my face. Going out, doing weird shit, doing what the fuck he wanted to do. And knowing that I was in the house and I couldn't do what I wanted to do. He just knew that he could do what he wanted to do. So he was trying to like, you know, say fuck me. So I'm I ain't even going to hold y'all. This shit got me emotional than the motherfucker, bro. Because. I'm like, you know what? Okay, bet. I'm, the night that I went to go get his shit, I had found out he was staying somewhere. He was not supposed to be staying. And I'm like, Flo, you know I'm sitting over here pregnant. With your child, I'm sick every day. And you going and doing what? 
And then I kept telling him, I want to get an abortion. I want to get an abortion. You should pay for it. Because that's what the man is supposed to do. It's no, not nah, baby girl. Let me correct you on that. You know what I'm saying? Let me correct you on that. All right. You laid with that man. And you know that man wasn't wearing protection. So it's not, it's not just it's not just his responsibility to get the abortion. It's both of y'all's. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way that I look at it. It's a two-way street. You knew he knew. You feel what I'm saying? You know when you are having sex with a man that have no rubber on, chances is you can get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just solely his responsibility because you laid there and let it happen as well. You know what I'm saying? See, this is what I'm not going to do. As much as I am empathetic to her situation, I'm still going to point out the wrong and shit. And I don't like when women do that. Women get pregnant and the first thing they want to do is blame the man. Well, nigga, you should have paid. No, no, no. Because you got your own mind. You feel what I'm saying? And the reason why men feel like they can be able to come up in you raw like that is because you haven't set a standard. You tell that nigga, nah, bro, you ain't get none until you gonna get that. You feel me? You got to set the standard for yourself, ladies. Otherwise, men are going to treat you like this. It's just that simple. And I know that we, we want to save the world. We be want to save these black men and shit. But at the end of the day, black women, they not going to save you. They not. They going to make it seem like you are the problem. This nigga done dropped three videos saying that you always hit him first. More than one reason why you should have wore rubber. Seriously. And I got to give you tough love and this shit. Because some people that's around you ain't telling you the real, bro. This shit ain't right. Especially when you did it on purpose. And you're the reason I'm getting an abortion for this world. You're paying for it. So I keep asking him, Flo, can you give me the money for the abortion? And we never got to talk again. Like, I'm good. We never have to talk again. He would not give me the money. But instead of going outside, going to buy bottles, popping bottles, going outside every night, going to the strip club, throwing ones at the strippers. But can you give me my six fifty? So speaking on that situation, yes, I did. I went to the house when I seen he was not there. I'm like, where's he at? The nigga stayed out all night. I'm like, where is he at? The whole time I find out where he at, I'm like, okay, yeah, you want to play with me while I'm pregnant? And you won't give me the money for it, but you can go outside and do all this stuff? Hell yeah, I acted out of emotion. I grabbed all of his expensive shit. I said, okay, Flo, if you don't want to give me the 650, I'm going to sell your shit and get the 650. Like, and then he's saying I stole $15,000. Nigga, I didn't steal $15,000. I picked up the expensive shit I seen in the room. I picked up a fucking Dior vest, some clothes, materialistic shit. And I picked it up and I'm like, I'm gone. Like, I got in the car and I went to my friend. I went to Krista house. So I'm like, he, he called me when he went back. And he seen his stuff was gone. So he like, but where you at? And I took his computer too. I took a lot of stuff because I wanted to negotiate at this point. You want to go? She wanted to negotiate. Go outside. You want to do what the fuck you want to do? You want to throw money at strippers, but leave me for dead while I'm pregnant? After what I just went through my last pregnancy? Nigga, you don't fuck with me for real. So I'm like, okay, I got something for that. Basically, I had went, got his stuff, and then he called my phone. He like, bitch, why the fuck you taking my shit? Da, 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 da. I'm on my way. I'm coming to get it. I'm like, okay, cool. You on your way, but I'm not even there. I'm trying to tell him I'm not there. But he still pulled up, and when he got there, I'm making sure the door is locked or whatever because he was on some angry, aggressive shit, like, Bitch, you took my shit, da, 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 da. So I'm like, okay, I'm finna play it cool. I'm gonna keep the door closed and talk to the nigga through the door so we can negotiate about this. So I'm like, Flo, give me my 650 and I will give you your stuff. We don't have to do none of this. He start kicking at the door. I'm like, Flo, this is not your house. This is Crystal house. If I would've known you was gonna do all this, I would never took the shit because it's like you're doing the most about some materialistic ass shit. And then Flo, you act like, um, you're never going to see me again. Or I'm really going to take your shit and auction it off. Like, be fucking for real. You know you can get your shit. Chill the fuck out. I'm like, Flo, I need you to give me the 650 and I'll give you your, I'll give you your, all of your stuff. No, no. Let me explain something to you, though, boo. It ain't no negotiating when a nigga that's doing some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I feel about you taking the shit. You dig what I mean? Because you already know that somebody that's unraveled like that, something like that is going to provoke them. Now, this is what I'm saying. I know that sometimes we got to pick up our own pieces. But you're cool. You're close to too many people that got money. I'm pretty sure 650 would have been easy for you to come up with. 650 from one of my friends versus 650 from a nigga that's unhinged. 
I'm going to one of my friends. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to let go and let God deal with your ass because, as you can see, this nigga was already unraveled. So taking something from him, bro, is kind of like poking the bear. And I'm not saying that a woman shouldn't be able to react off her emotions, but you got to be very careful how you react because I wouldn't have did that. You know what I'm saying? If I had just got them, if I didn't got hit in my face a couple of times, the last thing I'm going to do is take a nigga shit. Because I don't want to get hit in my face again. Because I know that I'm not physically equipped to be able to go one-on-one -on -one with this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all niggas got too much money around y'all to be worrying about these niggas, man. I ain't even holding. So we ain't got to argue. We ain't got to do nothing. We can, you can give me the 650 and I will go on about my Facts. life and about my life. It can just be that simple. He start, continues to kick the door down like he can't hear what I'm saying. Continues to do it. Continues to do it. I'm to the point, I'm scared. I'm thinking this door really finna come down. That's when I went and I grabbed the knife and I started recording because I'm like, this nigga's really kicking the door in. Like, this is crazy. And honestly, I had no intentions on ever letting that get out because I forgave Flo for that situation, which was probably a very dumb thing to do. But I can't lie, I be dumb sometimes when I'm in relationships. When I love someone, I, I be stupid for them sometimes. And I need to stop, like, I need to stop putting over stuff that I know I don't deserve because that's how it even got this far. Like, I should have been left when I saw I wasn't getting treated right and I saw that the nigga didn't really fuck with me for real, for real. So I'm like, at this point, I'm, I needed 650. After that, the police came and made me give him his stuff back, which was fine. I gave him all of his stuff back and the nigga still didn't give me my 650 that day. I had to, he ended up sending it days later. I had to keep asking for it over and over again. He still didn't send it. So I'm like, at this point, like, you're really just playing with me, like, playing mind games. And that shit was just annoying me because it's like, bro, you just, you want to keep me in this position because I'm pregnant, sick. Whenever I'm pregnant, I get really sick at the beginning. Like, I'm throwing up all the time. I can't keep nothing down. I can't even drink water and be good. And then he was moving so crazy. Everything he was doing was making me even more sick. And I kept telling him, I'm like, Flo, the stuff you're doing is making me more sick. Like, can you stop? And he, and I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. Like, he really did not give a fuck at all. At fucking all, bro. And I, I should have walked away then. I forgave him for that and I moved on. I forgave him from a lot of things that I shouldn't have forgiven him from. And I, I blame myself for that. And... Now, for the people that keep trying to say I got on here trying to play victim or I want to be a victim, I don't want to be going through none of this shit. This is embarrassing for somebody to look my name up and see my face beat up. Like, I don't want to be known for getting beat up by, her, by my nigga. Like, and it's a lot of altercations and shit that I didn't never bring to the media for that reason. Because I just don't. I don't like this shit. I don't like all, like, and then for him to say I like the attention that I'm getting right now, you think I want to be known for getting beat on? Thanks. No, I don't like the fucking attention, but nobody's going to get on here and try to make me look like a bad person when I know this whole situation could have been prevented if you would have just let me go with my friends from jump. You made me come with you when I did not want to. So don't make it seem like um, our other situations really had anything to do with this. Because anything that happened in the past did not does not have nothing to do with this situation I'm talking about. I didn't get on here doing the most about all the situations in the past. I, I told them what happened with the, the pregnancy situation. And I posted that video with the clip of, of you saying I beat this hoe up because I wanted them to know that it was in you to beat a hoe up. If you can say that, it's in you to beat a hoe up. Why are you saying you're just talking? No, you really beat a hoe up. You beat me up. <laughs> Like, why are you trying to make it? it ain't funny, but I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't get no more realer than that type of shit, though. For real, for real. It seemed like you was just talking. No, you would have really put your hands on me. So I don't know why you're lying, Flo, but it's okay. I understand you're trying to. And I appreciate your apology if it was genuine. I honestly do. But I don't like how you got on here and tried to make it seem like I, like, this situation was like any other situation in the past. And then there's been times that you've taken advantage of me in the past, too. Like, I throw water on him, and he'll start punching on me for throwing water on him. So it's like, even if I don't provoke this nigga with my hands, he's always on go regardless. So What it sounds like to me is that Flo like the idea of a relationship without having to really be in a relationship. Let's be real, nigga. We know how YouTubers is. Sometimes when you incorporate a female to your channel, it's going to get you a bigger bag. You dig what I mean? But at the end of the day, I mean, I'm seeing that it should be accountability on both ends. The thing that I don't like about Flo, especially in his particular video, is that in his apologies, it's still a but. 
in his apologies, it's like, but she. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Instead of just taking accountability about the shit that you did, bro, you feel what I'm saying? You still victimizing yourself when in fact you're not the victim. You got too many motherfucking means to be able to walk away from this shit and you stayed. She stayed. And I'm saying both of them. Both of them contributed to some of this toxicity. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because she did not deserve to get her face beat in the way that she did. And that's just the moral of the story. I don't give a fuck about anything that happened in the past. You dig? Because I'm seeing her face now in real time. And that's what we're talking about. So for you to be talking about other shit is irrelevant. So it's irrelevant. Don't make it seem like I'm always the aggressor because that's not the truth. It's been times where people had to come get flow up off of me. Literally, like, up off of me while I'm laying on the floor. He's on top of me. Steady. Don't, like, you wasn't defending yourself in that moment. You was trying to whoop my ass. Like, what are you talking about? Why are you trying to make it seem like it's always just self-defense? No, it's not self-defense. And then even if it is, Flo, I'm not saying it's right for me to put my hands on anyone. And I, I'm going to work on that myself, too. I'm not going to... I'm going to try to just... Relax. When people do things to me that I don't like, I'm going to try to just calm down more and use my hands less. I can admit to to having that problem and I can say that I'm going to work on it also. But all I'm saying is it was no reason for you to take it that far. And that's all I, I wanted him to acknowledge and say. Like you bringing up what has happened in the past and shit has nothing to do with everything you did to me this day. And then you still not explaining how you made me come with you when I did not want to come with you. I asked you multiple times to give me my phone. You put me in the closet and made me stay there. You stood in front of the door for hours not letting me leave. You still not explaining none of that. You just trying to flip this. Oh my God, she, she been hitting on me too. Our relationship was toxic. Flo, our relationship was toxic because of you. It wasn't because I was the problem. It was because you were the problem. The fuck? I, I wasn't doing nothing to you. I wasn't out here wild. I wasn't doing fucked up shit. I was being a... 89, you got me in a motherfucking chokehold. I'm trying to laugh because I don't want people to think that I'm like I'm laughing at her situation. But it ain't it. Y'all, the people in my comment section is crazy. So that's what I'm laughing at. I'm not laughing at Karina's situation. Genuine girlfriend. Like, waking up every day happy, ready to start the day off and shit. And the nigga have an attitude and just, I don't know, he just was mean. Like, very angry. I used to always tell him, like, you're angry. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, the way he used to treat me, it, it just wasn't, I'm like, Flo, you don't treat me right, bro. Like, so I'm like, you know what, at this point, he just always pro promised me he would do better. Every time I wanted to leave, he like, I'll do better, bro. Just give me one more chance. That's all he ever says. One more chance. One more chance. Ladies, let me give you some real shit for your ass. Please don't fall for that one more chance. I'm just telling you this shit, woman to woman. Do you know how many men said, give me one more chance? And the last chance was the end of their life? See, sometimes these men is just is just unaliving people by mistake. They punching you in your head, then you hitting the cabinet, but you're no longer with us. Do not fall for the one more chance shit. When a nigga show you who he is, believe that man. Believe him, for real. Women, I know, we are naturally maternal. But let me explain something to you. You cannot love the trauma out of these men. And that's what we want to do all the time, shawty. We meet these niggas that we fall in love with, the DB good, but we ignoring all of the red flags because we feel like our love that we get them is going to be enough for them to change. Here's the word to the wise. You can't change that, man. You can't. So, like, stop trying to be Jesus Christ because some of these niggas need Smokey Robinson and all the miracles and prayer. And what you're going to bring to the table is not going to correct that. So I just want to put this out there. It might be a woman right now that's going through this particular situation. You cannot love the trauma out of these niggas. Some of these niggas already feel a certain way in their head. And it don't matter how much love you get to this nigga, how good your is, it ain't going to matter. This is going to be a journey that he's going to have to embark on on himself. So when they tell you, give me one more chance, say, hell no, nah, because that could be the last chance for you. And that's some real shit for y'all niggas ass, bro. Don't believe it. I'm going to do it. One more chance. I promise you, I'm going to be the man that you need me to be. I'm going to treat you better. I'm going to do this. I'm nah. Do that. And he'll do it none of that. Days. He used to tell me I'm going to spend more time with you. 
I'm going to stay in the room more. I'm going to stop going out so much. But then he'll still go out. He'll still, he'll be good for a couple days and then just go back to doing what the fuck he was doing. And I think he looked at what I was asking him to do as more of I'm trying to control him, which was never what I was trying to do. Like, I'm not trying to control you. I just know what I want out of a relationship. And if you can't give me that, set me free to go and get it. And that's all I asked him for the whole relationship. He kept me around knowing he didn't want to give me these things. Knowing that he wasn't ready to change as a man. And I, I just, I don't respect that. Because I asked you multiple times. But I can only blame myself at the same time for for believing what you were saying. For, like, having faith that you would change. Because that's all I would say it was. Like, I genuinely cared for you. Like, I genuinely cared for our relationship. I I wanted to do it. I wanted to make it work if it could. But the more and more everything kept happening, I just realized that it just... It can't happen. Like, at this point, we just really not meant to be. Like, I'm more of a, uh, I don't know. I just like feeling like I'm in love, like, head over heels. And I know that feeling before because I had it before. So it's like, I don't feel that for real. Like, I feel like some type of, like, I love you, but I feel like you low-key got some type of hatred towards me. Like, that's how I'm feeling, like. I'm not feeling like we're one. I'm feeling like I'm trying to be one, but he's not. Like, it was just weird. But every time I ever tried to walk away, he he always tried to get me to stay. Like, he, he really wanted to do right by me. So, I was giving him chances and shit. And honestly, I just feel like I got to stop doing that. I got to stop being so good of a person. Because, obviously, motherfuckers just keep taking advantage of that shit. Like, and honestly, I don't want to be looked at as a victim. I'm kind of over this whole situation. Whatever happens, happens after this. Like, I'm trying to move on with my life. I'm trying to figure out what's next. I'm trying to heal. Like, I'm trying to actually be at peace within myself. Because that's what I really want to feel again. Some type of peace. Like, before I was with Flo, I did... Finally, I finally got to that point where I'm like, yeah, I'm at one with myself. Like, I, I was good. I'm like, I'm okay with being alone. I'm not, you know. But being in that, that like fucked everything up. Now I'm not used to being alone again. But I'm good. Like, I'm, I can move on. I can. I don't know. For some reason, my heart goes out to her just because I know that she went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I know she had lost a baby. She lost somebody who she was in love with. You know what I'm saying? It couldn't be an easy situation. There's going to be some soul searching she's going to have to go through. And I just hope that she properly heals before she get into the next relationship. Because I kind of feel like that was one of the downfalls from her. Like her and Jaden Young. And she, I don't feel like she had finished grieving. For Jada Youngin, and she, I don't feel like she had finished grieving for her kid. You know what I'm saying? Before she got in a relationship with 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 Jay, or I mean with Flo. And see, sometimes what women don't understand is that you would think that you're healed and you're not, but then you're bringing trauma into the new relationship. You feel me? Hence the reason why you felt like you should have swung on him first, because that's what you used to do with him. You know what I mean? And every man is not gonna be what your old ex man was. You know what I mean? But that's just going to show you that sometimes women can. We can bring our baggage into relationships and. Fuck me and mine up too. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a stack, a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you know, what I mean, Flo probably woke up and he probably got damn got treated a certain way because of how she used to be treated with Jada Youngin, and only because she hadn't healed properly. I'm not saying that I give a man any reason to put his hands on a woman, but sometimes we do have to take accountability to the shit that we might bring into the relationships because women ain't all the way a hundred. You know what I'm saying? There's some women that fuck up good men. You feel me? So we got to look at everything, you know what I'm saying, from both sides before we could just pick a side. You dig? And I mean, this situation here is terrible on both sides. I'm going to be real with you. Do whatever I want, and I just I feel like free. I feel like a weight lifted off my chest because it was a lot of days that I just felt like, what am I even doing? Like, why are we even together? Like, why am I feeling all this negative energy towards our relationship? Like, it just, it wasn't right. I didn't like it. Because, I've, like I said, I've experienced being at one with someone before. Like, I've experienced just knowing that y'all are, I don't know how to describe it, but you know that connection you have when somebody really your nigga, like, yeah, this is really my person. It's like, Flo never really... We never got that feeling for real because he always just treated me like he didn't like me or he hated me. So I'm just like, 
But it was always like weird because it would be like bipolar moments. Like it was, I'm not saying he, he dogged with my whole relationship. We did have good times. We did enjoy ourselves. But there was a lot of times like that I just didn't know why he even still had me around if he like wanted to act that way towards me. So I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just confused at this point. It was just a lot of mind games being played and I I really I don't know how to describe it, but I just I really care for Flo and that's why I put up with a lot of the things that I did put up with. But um yeah, I'm really tired of this situation. Whatever y'all wanna believe, y'all can believe. I I really I'm over everything. And I just feel like I I want everybody to know that I never wanted this shit. Like, I didn't think this shit would even get this. I didn't think anything out before I did it. I just did it because I was so angry with him in that moment for doing that to my face and doing, and then having no remorse towards the situation at all that I'm like, the world needs to see the real you. Like, that was my intention of going to the media was exposing the real flow. Like, I need everybody to see him for who he really is and not who he wants y'all to see him for. Because that's what he's been portraying. I'm like, meeting, watching him online is a whole different person than what's in person. Like, I'm like, Flo, like, you can't even keep getting on this media and you trying to portray it, be the image that you're not. Like, that shit is irritating to me because I show my flaws on camera. I let y'all know when I fuck up. I'm not going to sit here and deny anything. And I'm, I hate when people say I'm trying to play victim because I am the victim. Like, how the fuck am I trying to play victim by telling the truth about what happened to me? The fuck would y'all want me to get on here and lie? Everything I be saying, it went down the way that I I said it went down. Y'all be thinking I be lying or something. I have no idea. No, as of right now, I feel like she's very credible for the things that she's been saying. Everything that she's been saying, shot has been true. I, I got to give her that. I have no desire to be known for this shit. I promise you. This is honestly embarrassing. The next relationship I get in, I don't want my next man to be like, damn, like, yeah, your ex beat on you. Like, I don't want him to be able to look at this and see what happened to me. Like, I don't want to be doing this right now. Tell me something. I like the attention I'm getting. I don't like no attention I'm getting. I love the support that I'm getting that people is sending me that, that they care about me and shit. But I'm getting a lot of hate, too. The fuck for something that somebody else did to me. The fuck don't make it seem like I, I want this attention flow. There's so many situations I could have got attention from. The fuck I was fucking with Jay. And I never ever had to come to the media about shit. And I could have got attention from that. So don't ever make it seem like I'm clout chasing off of you. or I, Because he was bigger than you. Facts. So don't make it seem like I, I just need to come let's, to the media about anything. Let's, no, let's keep it a stack. <laughs> let's keep it a, a stack. That you are a totally different person on the internet that you are. In real life, like, you trying to hide your, your true self from everybody. You want to be a saint in everybody's eyes when you're not. I show my flaws to people. I let people know when I fuck up. I, I, I don't walk around trying to hide anything at all. Like, so for you to just be on here trying to be a person that you're not, that, that's what bothered me the most. Like, I, I only fuck with real motherfuckers. Like, and you're not real. All you do is lie about every little thing. And that shit is so annoying. Because it's like, damn, I don't even know when you're telling the truth or telling a lie at this point. Like, And you know what? I believe her on that. Because everybody who's been around this nigga said that he lies a lot. Everybody. You feel me? And at some point, bro, you got to get it together. You got to get it together. Look, save your life and put your pride to the side and get it together. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? You got enough time to turn this shit around. Put your pride aside. Swallow your pride. Take accountability and get it together. It's that simple. I'm confused. Like, and I'm not even trying. I don't even, I, my goal ain't even to bash nobody, bro. I'm just dead ass speaking facts. And I really didn't even want to have to make this video. But for you to make that video and do all that, I'm going to tell the truth now. Like, I don't know why you think. You can get on here and manipulate people. You can manipulate the people mind that you didn't already manipulate it. They can take sides with a narcissist if they would like to. But the people that know a narcissist, the people that know the real, see right through that. Honestly. So, I don't even know what the fuck. I don't even got nothing else to say. That is what it is. Y'all can believe what y'all want. Y'all can... It is what it is. I really don't care no more at this point. I'm done with the whole situation. 
Flo, live your life. Like, I forgive you for what you did to me. Even if you're not genuinely sorry, I forgive you because I got to move on. And it is what it is. I just wish you wouldn't have wasted so much of my time. Probably just because you didn't want to see me with nobody else. But I'm moving on. And I'm going to continue living my life. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to be happy. And that's that. So I'm honestly sorry that everything had to play out like this. I I don't even want to say I regret bringing it to social media because I feel like it needed to happen. But I honestly, I hate that it, it's anything that had to stay on here. And like, I honestly, I can say I do regret bringing it to social media because every time I bring something to social media, I end up regretting it in the end because it's just so much that comes with it and it just never goes away. Like if I wouldn't have bought it to social media, it probably would have just died down. I probably wouldn't still be with Flo. I wouldn't because what he did was not okay at all. Like the way that he did that and then did not show any remorse. But honestly speaking, I don't. I think if she didn't bring this particular situation to social media, it would have happened again. It would have been easier for her to go back. And as much as it may sound crazy, I think that it coming to social media really put a permanent divide between them for them to go their own way because it's 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 it's, it's proven. That they can't be together. First actor showed me he's gonna do it again. Like, so that's why I had to get away from the situation. Like, I don't really have no choice but to get away from the situation. But yeah, I'm done with the situation. Y'all can believe whoever y'all wanna believe. All I got to say is I bring receipts, I show proof of everything. Like, and my story don't change. Like, and then I'm not gonna sit here and try to, like, I hate when people say I'm trying to play victim because I'm telling the truth. I don't know what y'all want me to lie and make myself be in the wrong, like, or what, but I don't give a fuck to be a victim in nobody's eyes. I don't want to be a victim in nobody's eyes because I hold my own in every situation, even dealing with that. I held my own the whole night when it came to the first thing, when it came to flow. I held my own, feeling alone, like, helpless. I'm like, damn, like, ain't nobody helping me tonight. Like, everybody just let me, like... I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like God testing me. Like, I go through a lot of shit, and God, I just feel like he testing me. And I'm okay with it. I'm strong enough for the test. I'm strong enough. I'm going to make it through everything that I go through because I'm a strong person. And that's it. I'm done talking. Bye, y'all. Um, I'm not even going to lie. Um, That was a great video from her. Because the last couple of lives and videos that we've seen, she's been so hyped up. But this is the first time that I feel like she has some time to reflect on everything. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. And, 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 and really get her thoughts and her words together. Um, I feel like she took a lot of accountability in this, in this video. Um, I'm happy to see that she do know that she do have uh, some problems that she pay in these relationships. You can't hit these men either. You know what I mean? It's not right on both sides. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? Just because a man is physically stronger than y'all does not give you every right to hit a man. Because every man is not going to have the proper etiquette. And some men was also taught that if you hit him, he going to hit your ass back. And you just got to understand that it's going to be a different force behind them. You know what I mean? At this point, I hope neither one of them get back together. Um, I don't think nothing good can come out of it. They do not have any ties with each other. It looks like the baby is no longer here. You know what I'm saying? So they really have no reason to even have to coexist in the same room. Because the last time they was in the same room, you see what happened. You feel me? Like dead ass serious. I want to know how y'all feel. Drop it down in the comments. How do y'all feel about Karina video? Do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, she was uh, completely honest in the video? How do you feel? Drop it down below. If you are not subscribed to her channel, please go over there and smash that subscribe button. Support is free. You feel me? Just go over there and support her. You did what I mean. I love y'all. Y'all stay tuned, all right?